Baba Booey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. In today's episode, we're going to be cleaning up uh, some double monster quests. I think we have one capture quest, and then we might do a new monster quest. I'm not sure. We're just going to kind of see how far we go before I am out of time to record. We need to uh, eat some f***ing dango, and then get smashing. Uh, the first quest up on the chopping block is a Kulu Yaku and an Andronath. In yesterday's video, I sort of realized just how bad my pronunciation pronunciation of some of these monsters is like uh the perry the platypus looking guy i called like a t tyrannodon i'm like it's tetrahedron right but i i really don't know i shouldn't be talking about pronunciation in the first place there you are hey bud haven't seen you in a minute now let's go blue and show you what this switch skill do this is gonna be disgusting it wasn't as bad as i wanted it to be i wanted to just break your bones already that would have been nice but i can just switch skill you the entire time i think i just saw it proc there i'm not sure i mentioned it in yesterday's video that i don't really know how this magnamolo armor works but if i'm to take what that comment said at face value it's supposed to be good for switch skills so maybe if you land a switch skill let's try landing one did we we didn't get caught on fire oh wait we did that's dope look at that kulu yaku isn't that cool we're learning together bleeding through his nose yeah that's cool oh yeah i think kulu yaku is not a fan of our hammer i am though oh holy shit kai's meowing at my door hold on we'll let that fat cat in once we're done beating this little bird wyvern he's been a loud boy yeah, drop the rock, bud. Drop the rock, stop resisting. Ouch. Oh, come on. Come on, I'm better than that. There we go. Oh, it's already dead. All right, let's let the cat in. God, come hither. Oh, okay. He came in, didn't say a word, just went underneath the bed. What a piece of shit. What a reloading piece of shit. I can hear you, guy. With the noise canceling feature, there's a good chance that none of this comes through. Ooh, look, Angie's coming right to me. Yeah, that is very nice. Fucking Alan from Smiling Friends. Oh, look, here's a camp that I set up. Sweet. Fucking sweet, dude. All right, where's Angie? There he is. Hi, Fwen. Can I get you? No. Okay, I'll just, you know, smash your ankles and break them. Come here. We're gonna play a fun game. Boink, boink, boink. Fuck you. Yeah, dimmin engineer. I was going to bed last night and uh, was just doom scrolling on YouTube shorts. Saw one about a, apparently in Fallout 3. There's a DLC called Into the Pit, which centers around a baby that is uh, radioactive proof. Uh, it just has an immunity to radioactiveness, I guess. I have not played this. This is all from the YouTube short. Uh, that was just talking about how good Fallout 3 is because you're given the option at the end to give it to one of two factions, I guess, that are participating because they both want the baby. Um, but at the end, it's your decision because, like, you're the main character, you know, duh. <laughs> because Fallout 3 is Fallout 3, if you have certain skills, specifically the cannibalism skill, uh, you can just eat the baby and you will piss off everyone. I think that might just be the end of the DLC right there. It's just like, well, you're now radioactive proof, but you fucking ate a goddamn baby. Like, Jesus Christ. I've made a severe and continuous laps in my judgment damn it we went in the wrong direction we'll get another opportunity did you drop what was in your mouth bud jesus christ i'm getting better at landing it and it's funny in the older oh what air quotes older episodes i was complaining about the tempo of it but i think i got the tempo of this down now it's just a lot faster for a hammer but we're pumping out good damage i think really beating this guy to death you know that's what the kids want they want monster hunters to show up to their birthday party, butcher a monster right in front of them. It's great. Oh, did you fall? I'm gonna fucking capitalize on that, boy. You can capitalize on this dick. Eat it. Oh, 165, not bad. Uh, Sheriff, I might need to whetstone, though. That'd be actually really nice. He's capturable already. I looked at the map. Yeah, we have to capture a Skomorant, and I'm not looking forward to that. Just because I removed the very obvious indication that it's capturable in the upper right corner, but it's still on the map. So we will definitely abuse the map feature for knowing if a monster's ready to cap. Is that cap? Is that cap G? Oh, come on. Yeah, I yelled. I didn't want to hear you yell, you stupid fucking pink dragon. He's not even a dragon. He's just a fucking T-Rex that has a cold. Anyways, good riddance, rest in piss, bozo. Fuck you. I'm gonna carb you on the back of a fucking dog. Why? Because I can. 
in exciting defenseless news. Uh, the uh, ice machine just started beeping yesterday. I looked it up. It uh, has a high pressure valve switch that's being flipped. So I think because it was out in the sun, it overheated. Uh, don't know what that means for us. It does seem like in the instructions that it's not that big of a problem. It's just like, clean the condenser, you fucking filthy. And you're like, oh, okay, thank you. But it is cool that it's like, like industrial machines. So there's just a QR code on it that takes you to a website. It's like, hey, dumbass, here's your machine. Here's all the documentation. Don't call us, fix it yourself. You're like, all right, cool. That's fucking lit. Is your job right, Mr. Poppy, who has a fucking ghost set of armor? Now the downside of no ice machine is that I have to drink warm coffee. Fucking like a pour. It's disgusting. I'm fucking, I'm fucking with you. All right, do we want, yeah, well, let's do the KZ and the Skomarond. I don't think Skomarond's gonna be, I don't think this is going to be a difficult quest. Give me the same thing that I've ordered every single time and let me see those fucking frame rates, come on. Let's go. I want to spend as little time here as possible. We might be doing a bunch of quests today. I don't fucking know. Magnamalo's here? What the fuck? Why is he coming about? Why is he busting on the floor? I want to beat this fucking mermaid that you definitely know. There's a few sailors in this world that have been like, I saw a fucking beautiful Harlequin. And they see this bastard. They're like, oh, wood. Roll credits. Fucking wood. I'm a goddamn sailor. I haven't seen boom in a while. Fucking wood. That fucking Muppet mouth, are you joking? What'd it do? Oh, fuck. I just wanna hit your head, but you keep it very high. And I don't like that. Okay, let's get my fucking camera to seek. Oh, you fucking bitch. Mayor? Mayor, are you around? Thank you, Mayor. Smack me. God damn, that thing was coming for blood. All right. There we go, first part broken. I want the head though. Oh, and we're gonna go for a fucking ride. I'm cool with that. Also, I realize I'm in yellow, I'm not in blue. That's the fucking problem. I'm gonna get to this corridor so I can just fucking quickly give it a concussion. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight into blue, and then we're gonna start doing our cool attacks. I want that head broken by the time it's out of the wire bug. There we go, and there's the KO. It kind of sucks that you can get knockovers and then stack them with your KOs. You know, it kind of feels like, ah, damn it. I sort of double dipped there and fucked it up. Also, wow, Skomaranth's got a tough fucking head. Tough walnut brain if it's only taking 115. I mean, Anjanath had a pink soft brain and he was taking like 160s. Nah, you little fucker. Look, I can stop you from your level three charge. Watch this, I can have it back in three seconds with one attack that reloads so frequently that I can continuously spam it and be incredibly mobile and incredibly dangerous. That was a 120 something. That one won't, that, that one was not bad. I'll take it. Well, we're gonna get fucked by, oh. No, it's dead. Okay, well, that's dead. Magnamalo is right over there, and so is Kiezu. Look at that. The whole team is here. Magnamalo, I'm not fucking scared of you. You know what I hope? I, I hope that maybe we see, for wilds, I think it'd be cool if there was either some form of maybe difficulty in the game, and the difficulty just like had scarier monsters present during the earlier missions, if that makes any sense at all. I want that wire bug, I do not want a wire, or I do not want a wyvern ride, can be honest with you. I mean, I guess we can just deal 70 damage and use two of our fucking wire bugs, even though that's super shit compared to what I could do without that. Fuck. All right, shit's already going crazy. Um, in wilds, if they like let the flagship monster spawn in like the first hunt of the game to the point where it's like, I, I want to show up to areas and be like, oh, there's a devil Joe here. I, I can't take out this like great Jagras. I, I want to see that in the game. I think that would be really cool and I think it would give into this environment of like, you are not the high man on the totem pole yet. You will be eventually, eventually you'll be like in world and be like, I can fuck up anything, nothing scares me. Like that Magmalo, I'm wearing his armor. I don't give a shit what it has to say about what I'm doing to this Kiezu. Fuck him. I'll do whatever I want to this Kiezu. Piece of shit. Look at him. He's all cut up like a little botch circumcision. I've made that joke before. I've done that in this series. Oh shit. I'm gonna try to get over to that cleanser. Try to clean myself off a little bit. Oh shit. You're a little bit of a bitch. You're not funny. You're nothing. 
1973, I walked Bob Dylan across stage. You nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> get fucked. Get fucked, loser. Kizu. Someone actually commented that uh, Gypsaros and Kizu? I think that's... Your gear out, give it, whatever the rock one is. Uh, I got two comments about it that I want to bring up. One, it's not actually made of rocks. It's actually flesh that looks like rocks. And uh, I was like, eh, that's kind of interesting, but I always had memories of bouncing on it. So why is that the case? I don't know. But the other one is that him and Kiezu are both from the first generation, which kind of makes sense. I thought they were from uh, Unite originally. But uh, that's my uh, fucking imbecile brain. God damn it. I'm gonna send you six miles away. Enjoy that. And then I'm gonna have a proboscis mouth. Oh, get fucked. Loser. Now it's time to consume your jelly flesh. God, imagine butchering this nightmare. Be covered in fucking slime. Ugh. Wow, would you look at that? We got flabby hide and beluga jello. Yeah, someone at the camp. Can you bring me back some kiosu jello? Ugh. God, what the fuck does this thing's bones look like? They're not calcium, they're just probably like, you know that pin bone inside of a, a squid? It's probably just like that. It's like glass, kind of flexible, bendy, really has got nothing. You bite into a piece of its jello and you're like, ew, bleh. the fuck is this? Is this plastic? Oh no, that's a pen. I remember eating fried calamari for the first time and I was like, why is there plastic in this shit? And then I haven't, I, I think I've had fried calamari like three times since then. I was like nine. Oh God, dude. Coffee's getting to like a decent-ish temperature. I really would have preferred iced coffee this morning. All right, do we want to be stressed? Let's get this fucker done with. Look at these fuckers hammering mochi. You're doing a great job. Now let me skip your cutscene. Bye. Why are we capturing a scum around? Uh, some sailor with fucking a bunch of rope. He's like, ah, uh, you don't want to know. And there's almost no reason for us to, I, I think, kill it. I mean, we should be able to check, right? I think I can make my map bigger. Hold on. If I if I go in the menu, that's pretty big. And then, yeah, I can, I'll be able to check. Make sure we haven't killed it yet. Give me the green bug. He's got a bunch of rope and Vaseline ready for this thing. Yeah, I just need a scomorant. Mm-hmm. Anyone will do. Preferably don't break its hips. What? Sir, this license to capture a scomorant, it, uh, it just says I'm the chief and I do what the fuck I want. I'm a little concerned. I don't think this is legitimate. Oh, boy. He's got a bunch of leather, too. You're like, um, sir, there are children around. Please. Ah, fuck. The fuck is this? Insta KO, and then you're gonna sleep me? Yeah, dude. Some some sick fuck wants this thing captured. I I am gonna judge. Ah, oh, you little fucker. I'm gonna bash its brains and I'm gonna do it. Damn it. Missed. It missed because I'm bad. All right. Why are you clapping? There we go. That was a good hit. Oh, perfect. You're right up against the wall. This is gonna be good. Yeah, this is. That was good. We got a lot of damage off right there. Sucks that I have to be careful because it's like, don't do too much damage. You do too much damage, we're not paying for it. We're not gonna pay for it. This Skomorant has clearly been abused. And that's before we got it. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, we wanted a healthy Skomorant for the private zoo that I'm building. Oh, yeah, that guy's a sex freak. Look, I'm. I'm an asexual hunter. I, I really could not give a shit about reproduction. That is not what I'm here for. I'm here for hunting and killing monsters. And that's about it. All right, how close are we getting? I'm seeing no blue. No blue, I repeat, no blue. Hammer is blue, monster is not blue. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. You little bastard. You little bastard. <laughs> Something died. I, I like that sub quest where it's like, kill small monsters, and then I just accomplish it by accident. I'm like, holy shit, how many monsters was I killing per, per hunt? That's kind of wild. I just jumped through your fucking sleep spray. What the fuck do you have to say about that, bitch? Nothing. Nothing. I'm watching that with a fucking hawk eye of precision. Precision? Masculinity? I'm gonna eat these fucking colorful fish, and I'm gonna launch off of them and smash this little bastard in the brain. Right in his little brain stem. Oh shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I, I see it. I see it. You're capturable. You're submissive now. That fucking freak back in the village is about to be real happy. All right, get in the cage. I'm sorry, bud. I'm, I, I'm specifically sorry for you. That This is not good. But you know what? His check cleared, 
and I am not paid to think of the moral implications of what I have done. I am just here to accomplish a mission and leave. And hopefully not think about it. I'm gonna go to the pub, drink a lot. I think that's the game plan. Drink enough that I don't remember that I did this horrible act. All right, I think we got one more in the tank. What are we thinking, Nargakuga or Zunogi? Mm, I think Nargi. I like Nargakuga. If I remember correctly, for Charge Blade, Nargakuga had good armor in this game. I think they had good armor in World too. Nargakuga is a cool monster. It's definitely one of the. It's you know I have rose-colored glasses for the third generation. Nargakuga certainly is a monster. God, can I fucking get gas on my system? Shit. Uh, Nargakuga is certainly a monster that I've grown fond of. Who is outside of that? You know, third generation stuff. Where the fuck is- Oh, it's way up there. <laughs> Wouldn't it suck if I never built this camp? <laughs> now I can just go straight to it. Hell yeah, brother. I watched a documentary about Hulk Hogan and him being a notorious liar. <laughs> it was awesome. But I don't think I've ever seen him, like, actually in an interview in person before. So it was weird to be like, oh, he actually just says the word brother a lot. Like, I've been doing that ironically, duh. But, no, nah, he, he's like, he's the one who, who who does that shit. He's like, yeah, but, you know, you know, you gotta be racist, brother. You gotta, you gotta look at another ethnicity and just be like, no. You know, he, it's like that shit. Allegedly. I don't know if he's racist, to be honest with you. It just sounds funny that Hulk Hogan would be. Oh, shit. Come on, get back over here. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out of wire bugs. You bastard. Oh, look at your little death spikes. Can you inflict bleed in this game? Ooh. Oh, I thought I could fucking trip that. I thought it was like a toad. Never mind. Never mind. It's gonna fucking tail slap. I knew it, you little bitch. There we go. That's a flinch and that's a knockdown, but we're gonna try to spiral this into a nice little fucking K. 179. God damn. Oh my good lord. I want to actually break one of his wings because he's going to get real pissed here. And like the head break is nice and all, but his wings are going to greatly hinder him and make him an easier target. That's wing. <laughs> More small monsters dying just, just by happen chance. Yeah. Welcome back to the village hunter. You actually killed an endemic species that is so goddamn rare. We're just not going to report it to the hunter's guild because that would legitimately get you your license revoked. So yeah. Hunter, what is that? Oh, I don't know, it's some type of eagle. Is that a bald eagle? Yeah, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck it is. Something. Tried swooping me when I killed a fish. So I took that little fucker. Anyways, you want some? Uh, Hunter, you probably should not be eating that, uh, that fucking creature. I, dude, I, I want to see a giant, like, I, I want to see snakes return to the game. Just big fucking snakes. Oh, come on. You got another awesome arm right there that I would love to break. It's just that simple. Oh, he's gonna fucking... You wanna mount me? Uh, no. No, I'm, I'm good. Fucking prude. All right. Let's throw him into some fucking walls, dude. Whee! I'm breaking that other arm of yours. If I don't fuck this up. Which, you know what? That's entirely possible. Oh, this is it. That arm's fucked. Oh, really? Ah, you little fucker. All right, here we go. It's KO'd. Let's just stand right here and get a nice full charge on it. There we go. No arms, no legs, and probably no dick, or whatever the fuck that quote is. There we go. There's, there's the boy. I think we're going to call the episode there. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Call your mother, tell her you love her. Bye.